What if you are not one mind but two living inside the same body? Some patients with severe epilepsy undergo a radical surgery that severs the connection between the two halves of their brain. After that, something strange happens. It is as if two selves emerge, each controlling one side of the body. This condition is called split brain, and it was studied in groundbreaking experiments by Roger Sperry and Michael Gazzaniga. To understand what is going on, consider this experiment. A patient is asked to stare at a cross in the middle of a screen. Then two simple shapes are flashed, one on the left side and one on the right side of the screen. A normal person would struggle to draw both shapes simultaneously with both hands. That is because the two sides of the brain are constantly interacting, interfering with each other. But a split brain patient can do it effortlessly. The image on the left side of the screen goes to the right hemisphere, and the image on the right side goes to the left hemisphere. And since the two hemispheres can no longer communicate, each one takes control of one hand and draws what it saw. But the real mystery begins when we get to language. In another experiment, a word is flashed to the right visual field. The patient sees it and says it out loud. Ship. But when another word is shown to the left visual field, the patient says he could not see that. However, when asked to draw what he saw using his left hand, he draws the correct object. That is because the left visual field goes to the right hemisphere. The right brain saw the word, but it could not speak. Only the left hemisphere can produce language. So the right brain knew, but had no way to say it. It could only show what it knew through drawing. But there is more. In a particularly strange experiment, two different words are shown at the same time. The word music is shown to the right visual field, which goes to the left hemisphere. The word bell is shown to the left visual field, which goes to the right hemisphere. Then the patient is asked to point to a picture that matches what he saw. He chooses the bell. When asked why he chose the bell, he says, maybe because music reminds me of a bell. That is a made up explanation. The real reason is that the right hemisphere saw the word bell, but the left hemisphere, which is in charge of speaking, did not see that word. So it came up with a story that made sense. This raises a deep question. If the left brain can invent a story to explain something it does not understand, how much of what we think of as ourself is just a story? Are we really a single unified person or are we a collection of parts with one part doing the talking and pretending to be the whole? Thanks for watching.